That was it. Oh, okay. Today I'm going to do a comparison versus the Sunstar Agency's Faceless Reaper versus uh, Funhouse Freddy from Sunstar. So, let's go to um, quality wise. I'm going to uh, unplug my iPad. There's the box. Sorry. I can't see my address because it's far away. But as you can see, Funhouse Freddy is. Let's go to Funhouse Ready. The quality here is actually decent. For Sunstar, I'm going to show you for a little bit. Uh, shoes are actually not bad plastic. They're not... Sorry about my brother. Sorry about my brother. He won't shut up. Shut up! Sorry, I have to mess with him all the time. That's okay. Now let's give this video some humor. I can give this video some humor. So, okay. There's... She's pretty detailed wise, but I'm not going to detail right now. So it's, the pants here quality is great. It's like a costume. And also the creepy cloth is pretty good. And also hands. Pretty sturdy plastic for Sunstar anyway. They won't bend as easily. Definitely one of the best Sunstar cards I had ever seen. His head. Uh, decent plastic. Hair decent and hat decent. Let's go to quality on the faceless reaper. Or doll man. That's what he's called on. Sunstar's so website, doll man. But his head here is uh, pretty good. Not high quality. The hands here are pretty cheap. Sorry. And also uh, his other and also his clothes are cheap. Mac is cheap. Everything else is cheap except for his head. So who gets the point is Funhouse Shreddy. He is better quality and also better built. Let's go to detail. Let's go to the Faceless Reaper. He has no detail. Not even a bit. Except by hands. That's it. So let's go to detail on this one. But let's go to shoes. They're detailed as hell. You can't really see them. They're detailed. The claws are detailed. There's a tension of detail on his head. And if you don't, people don't notice it if they draw a sunstar clone. They do not have this like this little gap, gap, which is close. The gap. And that's what not people notice. And also, point is going to this guy because he has much better detail wise. You can tell they really tried hard for this thing. Okay, let's go to Uncanny Value. I'm going to do a demo. I cannot do a demo of this thing because it has no batteries in them. I don't have any AAA batteries. But if you, I, you probably see him on my channel, my eyes light up. And his face completely lights up. It's pretty awesome. But let's go to creepiness. I'm going to do Scary Harry because he has fun. Go ahead and run away. I'll just catch up with you later. So, this is a clown that, the clown, the winner is Funhouse Ready. If you're wondering why Funhouse Ready is getting all the points, except by one thing, but this guy is Scary Harry, also from the company called Best Train Destruction, that's the Shivering Sunstar Merchandise, are super uncanny looking, and also phrase-wise. There's almost nothing wrong about this clown, except by his, except by the base, but... Yeah, he's an almost perfect Sunstar clown, and he is actually a decent mech. And this one's mech is crappy. It breaks easily. Luckily, mine still works completely. But still. Sorry about that. But you can see. Very uncanny looking head. Too, so let's go to um <laughs> let's see overall creepiness and overall in general which one's the better height yes height height wise <gasps> who's gonna win it's the reaper he's taller that's obvious and also he doesn't look any better but still it's okay Get all of the 
Edgar out of the box. And you can't even see my address because I doodle all over it. But as you can see, which one has? Uh... Okay, let's go to one. Scare. One overall look. <laughs> it's kind of hard, but I think Funhouse Freddy would win with overall detail. And he's and also one point for the Reaper. You might think I really hate him. I don't. I like him. I do, I do both like him the same. It's just that it's like some detail wise, but yeah. Let's see. Okay. You know what? This is the winner. This one? 